morning. We all come in. As you can see, we are just getting ready to roll. Pretty much ready anyways. Just got to fill out the logbook and then we'll be ready to roll. We did not get the snow that I was expecting, but hey, that doesn't mean we'll get not get it further north, right? I looked on the internet there and it uh, looks like there's still a little bit of snow hanging around the Detroit area, so we might be seeing some snow tonight, or today, I mean. But, uh, yeah, so we'll fill this thing out here and then we'll be, we'll be on our married way. Uh, I still haven't gotten my message that my, uh, my border crossing is cleared, you know. But, uh, I already sent dispatch a, uh, message to ask if they were in yet and they haven't responded so I assume that means that they haven't cleared my load yet so uh, I'm sure hoping by the time I get to the border my uh, border crossing will have been set up I don't know if it got on there or not but as I was saying the uh, ACI has been cleared which is uh, basically Penner's part they have done their job, but uh, the broker hasn't done their job yet, you know? I'm not sure what these guys are doing here, but looks like this guy wants to fuel up, I suppose. Yeah, it will be nice enough to let this lady walk across here. She's hurrying up already, so... There you go. But uh, my battery died on my camera there as I was recording, so <laughs> I had to set it up over there and plug it back in. Ahead. But here we are, rolling in, anyways, regardless if our load has been cleared or not. Uh, luckily enough, there right at the border, there's a big duty free shop up there, and we can usually park there for a couple of hours, so. I've even seen guys park there overnight, but I've never done that, but. Oh yeah, well, I guess we'll get going here and then we'll see what the, what the rest of the day will bring us. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it will be okay. Hopefully it won't be uh, too crazy of a day. Take the entrance to the right on I-75 North. Construction ahead. I'm really hoping I'll be able to get to Toronto there by noon or just afternoon or whatever and then uh, I can go do my delivery and hopefully I get me a reload. I wouldn't be one little bit surprised if I get me a reload there tonight. I've gotten that many times there on a Thursday night. They have loads there that leave on a Thursday night going uh, west, usually to Alberta or Edmonton. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I could do those loads this trip because of my hours, but I can still pick it up and bring it to our Steinbach terminal, you know? I'm over here at the duty free shop and I just wanted to show you guys a little bit on what they have up here. And it's not really for, uh, for the reason that I want to buy something. It's more because uh, I have to stop here because uh, my border crossing isn't cleared yet, you know. Just look at this uh, whiskey barrel that they got up here. And these are some pretty big buckets, you know. Who wants a glass of margarita? I mean, talk about a big glass, eh? That's a huge glass. I just wanted to show you guys a bottle of one million perfume right here. It shows that it is $90 up here. I don't know how you can be able to see it, but it shows it's $90 up here. And I paid $180 at Sears when I when I bought it at Sears. Eh? That just goes to show you that at a duty-free shop, 
they can sell it for this price and I guarantee you they ain't losing money on it. Just came out of the uh, duty free shop over here and guess what? I got my buddy Mitch over here. Good day. He, good day. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. He, uh, he's he been uh, with the same guy, working for the same guy than me. Uh, I used to drive for that same guy and he's still working for him, right? Yeah, it's been uh, seven and a half years. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's uh, it's nice to meet him. I uh, meet up with him over here since I'm waiting over here for getting my customs cleared, you know. Which mine has cleared, so I'm <laughs> good to go. <laughs> so, Mitch, where are you off to? Off to Cornwall. Gonna head into all that nice snow they all got out there. Oh, there you go. Hopefully, I don't get stuck. As long <laughs> as I'm not going to Buffalo, that's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's got his <laughs> wife with him as well, but uh, she's a little bit camera shy, right? <laughs> There you go. Well, guys, I figure I show you guys uh, my friends here a little bit and uh, make it a bit more interesting. So we'll we'll hop out of this truck and uh, let him go, so he can get some miles in. I'll go check to see if my uh, border crossing is cleared. So we'll be back a little bit later. it's good evening I suppose I turned on my backup lights just so we could uh, actually sort of do some sort of show up here and uh, I guess you can see all this white crap behind me eh? that's what I've been dealing with all day yeah that's what I've been dealing with all day that's why I haven't really recorded anything during the day after I left the border because it started getting snowy and slippery and icy and all that stuff but uh, once I got to Mississauga they gave me a reload a preloaded trailer out of there so we went and picked that up and here we are just look at that I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it way back there we got the Walmart I'm trying to show you guys but not real real tough snow up here eh? look at that we got a truck parked down there already yeah this is what it looks like up here in Canada and it's only the 20th of November eh? so uh, yeah but anyways uh, we'll call her at night call it a day I guess and so thanks for watching we'll see you guys again tomorrow